Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Prophecy File Briefing. I'm glad that you've joined us today. Hope you'll share this out on social media. There's a lot of information, a lot of things that are happening in our world today, and we want to zero in on one thing, and it deals with the deceptive and divisive tactics of the devil that the Bible speaks about specifically and how that is happening in our world today. So from this article, and let me say from the outset, any of these Prophecy File Briefings that we bring to you Certainly, you can find the information uh, that's available to you. We vet that and uh, do our best to be able to make sure that all things are exact and accurate to your uh, understanding, but it's very important that you check all things and feel free to do that because just like today's article, there is much rhetoric that's going on today concerning uh, what has happened, of course, in the past, what's happening right now, and misinformation, as it's called, all the time. That's the reason why you need to do your own research and make sure that things line up. And I believe that you'll find uh, that Bible prophecy is being fulfilled uh, on a daily basis. This article is one you'll want to read, I'm sure, in its entirety. I won't give it all to you here today, but the title of it is The Lie of the Century, The Origin of COVID-19. We now know after four years of research that there has been an investigations and all that's been taking place that what we have heard in the past as being factual was actually a lie. And you can research this for yourself. In this particular article, this author who, is, who has done his own research and uh, is laid out very uh, succinctly, he makes this statement. We are presented at the outset with two competing theories, the natural origin spillover, these are important words for you to get a hold of, from animals to humans, and an accidental lab leak. And at the outset, a cadre of elite scientists passionately arguing that the evidence overwhelmingly favored a natural origin. With the comparative uh, fervor, they dismissed the possibility that the COVID-19 leaked from a lab as conspiracy theory. Now, again, I won't be able to go through the entirety of the article. It's quite extensive. But throughout this article, he speaks to us concerning the lab leak and its theory. He speaks to us in this article about the Chinese cover-up, not allowing anyone to go in and actually investigate what's going on. Not only that, but he speaks of the uh, what they call the smoking gun, that is the diffuse proposal that was the examination and discovery through uh, that was submitted to the Pentagon in 2018 by a group of organizers uh, led by Peter Daszak and the Eco Health Alliance. You might remember those names. They were very involved in the funding for uh, gain of function type of activity in Wuhan that was supplied financially from the United States and the United States government through grants and so forth. And then the, he goes on to speak about the real conspiracy and outlines for us what that really looks like in these comparative two. The thing that really was shocking to me in this article, and you'll find this here, is that Mr. Daszak and the uh, Eco Alliance, according to this article, are still receiving tens of millions of dollars in the United States government research grants, including a seven-figure grant awarded to them in December of 2022. It's very important for us to be able to understand that the funding for the Wuhan Uh, labs and so forth are still taking place today. And I believe that he outlines it very clearly so that you can have a clear distinction uh, as to what has taken place. In the conclusion of his comments, he makes this statement. Presented with the evidence objectively, the American people can now decide for themselves whether the natural origin theory of COVID-19 represents the most implausible string of coincidences imagined or the lie of the century. Well, I find it very interesting, and it's all right there. You can go to uh, these particular websites, but this particular information comes directly from the EcoHealth Alliance, and they have received, as of May the 8th, 2023, this is their uh, statement, they have received from the NIH Renewal Grant for Collaborative Research to understand the risk of bat corona spillover emergence. In other words, there is still funding and research that is going on uh, and gain of function that is taking place that was totally denied uh, by all of the leading authorities. Why am I bringing this to you today? Because we are living in a time of great deception. That deception is dividing the thoughts of 
uh, people uh, and families even in the United States. We're seeing a great division take place there. And what is the ultimate goal? Well, behind all of deception and behind all division is the attempt by Satan himself, the God of this world, to destroy. That's what the Bible says in John 10 and 10, that the thief comes but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. How does that originate? It happens through deception. There was much deception that took place, of course, during the 2020 uh, pandemic. And since then, uh, it has only ramped up. Now, American, even American conservatives are fighting against one another concerning the wars in Gaza and in the Ukraine. Uh, media groups that are spinning it the way that they want to, uh, to try to sway the uh, opinions of people. There is no doubt about it. Where is this all coming from? Well, it steeps from a spirit that is an ancient spirit of Satan himself that the Bible declares in the book of uh, John 10 and 10 that the thief comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. The Bible says that Jesus spoke this in John 8 and 44, that Satan is the father of lies. So no matter what the deception may be, the core, the seed, the father of it is Satan himself. The Bible says that the Lord also told us that Satan knows a house divided against itself cannot stand. This is very important because ultimately all the way from Genesis chapter three, Satan has all been about the destruction of through deception. And in Matthew 24 and 4, Jesus is asked the question by his disciples, what shall be the sign of thy coming? And Jesus speaks these words, take heed that you be not deceived. There's much deception that's going on in our world today without uh, any doubt. And you're seeing it happen on a daily basis. Jesus speaks directly to this deception and directly to what would take place as a result of it in chapter 24 of Matthew, verse number seven, where the words nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom, this is the uh, ethnic groups against ethnic groups, uh, people being divided, even all the way down to the household. That's why it's so important that we as believers are taking heed to the time that we're in to make sure that we are not deceived. Deception, uh, by a phrase, is very deceptive. Uh, many people don't know that they're even deceived when they're deceived. You can look at something, and let me just say it like this. Um, even in recent days, we've watched as a particular event that took place in New York City that's always touted as this great uh, event, a gala that is there, actually was uh, interrupted by AI. So many people were deceived into what the actual uh, celebrity or personality that was going into this event that was not even there that AI put into place. A few days ago, I listened to a particular song by a country music artist that cannot even sing due to the stroke that took place in his life, but his a brand new song has been released with his voice, his words through AI. What is the truth? What is happening here? That's the reason why Jesus made this, this statement emphatic. I am the truth, the way, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way for deception to be defeated is the knowledge of the word of God, the truth of God's word, and keeping your focus straight upon Jesus Christ in these very deceptive, evil, and divisive days. So whatever you do, pray for people that are in deception. Pray for those that are in leadership, especially that they won't be deceived, and even for our own selves. And that means going to church regular in a Bible-believing church that you can receive the Word of God. Staying close to the Lord in prayer and filled with the power of the Spirit is the key to combating all the deception that is out there right now. I hope that you've enjoyed today's Prophecy File Briefing and you'll share it out as well. And until the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.